if you take the geometric mean. What is that? It's um. Is there some kind of significance to that? Well, it, it's 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 kind of like a higher. It's like the next order average. So like, an average like when you average test scores, you add, and then divide. But you know, like in kindergarten, we learned that multiplication is like addition repeated over and over again. So the geometric mean is the next order up type of average. So if you have two values, instead of adding and then dividing, you multiply them and then take the root of them. So if you had n number of values, you would multiply them all together and then take the nth root. It turns out to be significant in some types of geometry. I can't. I, I don't know of any like particular examples or anything. And that's but, that's but, basically all I know about it. Is that it's very significant in geometry. Yeah. By the way, here's how I explain it. Uh, if you take a certain magnitude and you take another magnitude and you put them against each other to make a rectangle, mm -hmm. multiplying them against each other will get you the area. So assuming those magnitudes are I got you. are not. The, I, I know exactly. Yeah, yeah. Assuming the magnitudes are not the same. Yeah. then by taking the square root you will get the side length of a square that would represent the same area, the same area. meaning yeah. you take a geometric mean yeah, of the I, two I, I ideas feel, that's like the first time i ever saw geometric mean i can't believe i didn't see that the speed of light remember is the geometric mean of the uh, permittivity and yeah. permeability but that's just that's just a consequence of the equations though. yeah Okay, you'll have to explain them to me sometime. That, I, I would have to, I, I'd have to sit down and think about that for a while. I, th I think it's almost like a circular argument, really. Okay. So, size of the universe, 10 to the 28th meter. Size of the Hubble scale, I mean the Planck scale, is about 10 to the negative, negative 35th. 35th, which is actually like, you know, string theorists, that's almost exactly the length of the size of the strings they predict floating around in quarks or whatever. Negative 35th times 10 to the 28th is 10 to the negative 7th. Let's take the geometric mean of that, it's 10 to the negative 3.5, which is roughly the size of a, of a neuron. If you want to interpret something out of that, go ahead. I know physics, if you need help. Just kidding, I don't really. I'm doing quantum physics, man. Oh, okay. JK, I don't know that. JK. This is the size of the universe. And this is the size of the smallest thing. Now, if we had a square, that's a better, that's a much better square. a small square. What does that say? Consciousness. Mm -hmm.